Okay, hello, we're back again. And uh, we have Tomas, and I believe you're playing the third and fourth movements of the Elgar Concerto, is that correct? Yes, um, hello. Okay. Right, um, and if you're more comfortable, uh, you can, I, I don't know if you're wearing an ear, earbud. I am. Yeah, I am. If you prefer to take it out while you play, that's fine, and then you can, because I'll let you yeah. play the whole thing, and then uh, you, can, you can put it back in when you're finished, if you're more comfortable. Yeah, uh, well, for the uh, for, for start, uh, just the third movement. Yeah. Okay, just the third movement, good. Yeah. Good. You hear me now. Okay. Bravo. Very, very good. This is very nice playing. Uh, 
that you that you've done there. Um, okay. um, just a, a, a mundane word, uh, maybe before we go into the the, the piece, but um, I I think your your general technique seems like it's working well. The only thing I caution you about is your right shoulder, which seems to elevate a bit. You know, zoom is a little imperfect, but I think I think that's what I'm what I'm seeing is is a you know a bit yeah, of this. It feels a bit uh, worked up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, I, I thought I could see it, and I'm not sure, but I uh, I th I wondered if you were twisting slightly with the right shoulder forward. I, that I, I couldn't really tell uh, very well. <laughs> well, me neither. <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, you, it, I have the feeling you're, you're fairly tall. Is that correct? Uh, actually, no, I'm quite average. Oh, OK. Um, I, I had a very tall student who had a similar uh, situation, so I was, I was wondering. But um, I think, uh, uh, you know, to make to make sure that we don't start to to uh, turn this way and to uh, sometimes the you know the music um, like this it's full of feeling and meaning and uh, that's easy for that to translate into into tension in our in our body you know we have to uh, keep keep that sort of uh, the, that those feelings channeled in a certain way. They have to go through a, you know, our brain, a filter of some sort. We can't translate that physically, you know, because then we get tied up, uh, you know, to some, to some degree. So um, that's, that's always, uh, you know, that's a very common problem. Um, and I had the feeling that it came from, you know, just feeling of the moment. So uh, you can practice sometimes very calmly this piece, maybe without without feeling, and just just a shoulder <laughs> practice. Yeah. Can I play this piece, you know, cool, uh, and with with a correct uh, uh, technique, and and then you gradually incorporate that, you know, to your yeah. to your performance. Uh, another thing that can help is um, make sh you know often when we when we draw a bow when we draw a down bow um, the shoulder sometimes you know especially on the edge string has to accommodate a little bit it comes up yeah. a little bit you know uh, a string like that so the thing one has to do is when you come back to the frog let the shoulder back down you know always. When you get when you get back to the frog, shoulder is at zero again, you know. Otherwise, you you're up and then you come in and you keep the shoulder up, <laughs> and you just you know you raise you ratchet yourself up like a car jack, you know. Yeah. Like <laughs> so, I mean, those are those are things to think about. But that's you know very important that we maintain a good you know uh, a posture that enables us to to play well, you know, play yeah. easily. Well, yeah, uh, I should probably note that uh, this piece, uh, the third and fourth movement, for me is actually quite uh, new. I haven't played it much. Uh, uh -huh. I recently studied. Maybe that influences some some of my uh, Absolutely. stress in the body. <laughs> yes, yes. When things are new, you know, all of our, uh, you know, the thing, our tendencies that we don't want, it all comes out when it, you know, yeah. the more new it is, the less experienced. So that's that that can be very true. Maybe, yeah. So, yeah. so just just something to keep an eye on, you know. Okay. So, um, I I like how you did the um, the opening. Um, each time when you get to the six bar, uh, G, A, B flat, D, you know, there? Um, the B flat bar. and the six bar. Yeah, yeah. 
Right. It was a bit on the short side, I, I, I thought, right? And uh, how are you thinking about those opening? Uh, so the third bar you have uh, uh, B flat, C, D, F, and then you have G, A, B. How do they relate? Is one a bit more than the other? What, what are you thinking? Well, um, I haven't actually thought that uh, it should have like a meaning. I, I, I tend to think of the first, um, first uh, bars till number 35. Till the eighth bar, I, I, I think of it as a something. I uh, um, can't remember the word for it. Uh, something really calm, something ambient. Mm -hmm. uh, well, the first two bars, I think of them like a small flower, not a big one, a small flower that uh, starts to bloom, and afterwards there are like maybe some events happening <laughs> with the flower, right. probably. Right, right, right. Yeah. Well, um, that's yeah. I think we we use images, you know, in that way. I think all I all, probably all I mean is to ha to make some sort of difference between um, yeah. you know what I take my and cello. Can you still hear me? Yes. Um, so some difference between. Uh, uh, and maybe the second one might be a little less, a little more. Uh, to to me, uh, might be more open. Yeah, I and think this of it the first minor, time. It's... Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, I think of it uh, as uh, the first time it's more demanding, and the other one is like, uh, well, <laughs> calm down. Yeah, a little back. I think you could make more, do that more. Uh, this one, maybe more light sound, more flautando, more intimate, uh, softer. Yeah. And the the ending note. You know, he writes tenuto, and there's a diminuendo, right? Um, maybe something one can think of is just the way that note is shaped and how it ends. So, uh, you know, as it goes to nothing, but, but that we really shape it. You know, we don't just play... Uh, and it sort of stops, you know, but uh, that, that we ended in an artistic way, you know, yeah. a poetic way, you know, that gives some, some sense. Um, all of those ending notes also... Uh, you know, we, you know it, because you're by yourself, right? The orchestra finishes and it's just the note of the cello, so it's very important how you how you shape it. Yeah. Would you would you go once more from the uh, beginning? Beginning? Yeah. Uh, I'll keep the uh, headphone in. Okay. Great.
hear you. There I am. Oh, I forgot yeah. I, muted. I muted myself. <laughs> uh, I, what I was saying was I liked the opening uh, very much. I could really hear a difference in the way you were coloring yeah. Thank those you. three statements. Yeah. Um, you know, then uh, the bar before the big rehearsal 35, you know, he writes this pianissimo, right? And then each of the notes has a dot and a dash, yeah. right? So a lot of information. You know, probably quite light, I would guess, sort of a almost flautando. Uh, you know, um, it's like um, expressive and then it's a little bit back, you know, it's like as if you're thinking of something, you know, you're remembering something and then, oh, well, uh, and you, and you, yeah. and then you expand from there. But I would try to get some sort of a color, young, um, you know, with moving, moving the bow in a sort of font, a different kind of a color. He, you know, he means something there, right? Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Um, then, when you get so you get to that theme at thirty-five, that's the first time we hear it, right? Yeah. Um, it's it's lovely what you're doing. I I would think, um, it, you know, the, <laughs> it's sort of a strange piece. You know, you don't want it to be too fast and not too slow. But I almost felt like you could s stretch it just a little bit or just not let it. It, it feels like it doesn't want to go. <laughs> You know, not not too not too regular. You know, it, it wants to be stretched a little bit. Yeah. You know that that B flat doesn't resolve to the A so quickly as we might expect. You you, you know, know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Per perhaps. Uh, and um, and the whole expression. It's uh, later on. We're going to have espressivo in about eight bars, right? So we want to say we don't want to give too much. It's forte, forte, but this is not the top. So we try to save room. Yeah. And then um, when you get to um, yeah. now you take another bow. So I think you really have to move your bow uh, now, flautando. So you float. You float the bow, right? You have to go a little bit away from the bridge. Uh, yeah. So, right? So you have about two hairs of the bow touching the string, and then you, uh, you, uh, and you play, you can play very lightly and get a, you know, a pianissimo yeah. effect there, right? And then, uh, then we come to, uh, now we have accent, uh, and then a little less on the D, right? Yeah. That that you know you when you come in on the elbow, uh, I, I just heard. Well, but I think you want to accent. And again, now I would make this a little softer, the first of this, because we these surprising intervals. Uh, now. That's that B natural. I don't know what harmony that is, but it's a little, uh, you know, you feel something's coming, right? Uh, yeah. and we have a seventh interval of the seventh. So feel that, you know, not to play too, you know, I mean, you, you didn't, but, but try to stretch those. Uh, And I think you can 
take, uh, you know, he writes tenuto on that top note. You could take a little bit of time. You know, I know it's not easy with the bow. You really have to, you have to save. And then. Right, you know, to, yeah. to. Um, so I, I just think you probably, you have to. Um, uh, there's a certain flexibility in the tempo that you can take that's a little bit, you know, more yeah. expressive. Am I making sense? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So would you would you go once more from um, maybe and, pl and play? Yeah. Okay. From, no, 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 Thomas, may I stop you? I'm sorry. <laughs> Excuse me. More, more bow. Can you use? Uh, so, so you have a different sound. Uh, uh, three quarters of the bow on that note. Uh, okay. So you get this this uh, flotando sound. That's very. I, I really liked like that. I thought that had more breadth, you know, more. Uh, 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 very good. Yeah, thank you. Um, uh, uh, you, you know, it's hard to put your finger on this movement. It seems to me, <laughs> uh, but but that's one thing. There's a certain uh, stretching in certain places that that. Uh, is important. Yeah, it makes just, it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And nothing. It, it just makes uh, it breathe a bit more. Yes. Uh, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, just that you almost had it, and I. I, I just want to talk about that again. Uh, now, fi find the spot on your sounding point of the bow. Go away. Where. You, Find where you can move your bow lightly and in a pianissimo way. You know, a relatively quick bow, right? Can you just try that on the D? To try to find a... Yes, and you know, you have to... Um, we, we don't want to get a crescendo. We don't want to get in, right? We want to get, um, because this is a resolution. Uh, C sharp, resolve, and then we start. So we don't want any sort of crescendo. So somehow you have to, as you come to the frog, you know, first of all, you have to have a bow grip where you're comfortable holding the bow in the air, right? You know, where you can like hold it above the string, right? Find where, usually it means your little finger is, you know, has a good contact. It's pushing the tip up, right? Yeah. But you have to be able to hold the bow that way so that, 
So you can be very light here at the frog. Do I make sense? Yes, yes. yes. Uh -huh. okay. try, try that just on the D, or you know, C sharp and D. Um, yeah. Okay, that's right. Okay, that's right. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Good. Excellent. That's, that's your, I think you're on the way. You'll learn to connect that well where you play C sharp. And then you can you can connect them you know together very well. Yeah. Good. Um, then when you get to uh, now on the I think the B is important to feel you know start it a little less but then crescendo on it like you feel the B is going to go somewhere to some note uh, you know. Uh, Right? That if a singer sang that 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 seventh, that's a big interval, right? Yeah. It shouldn't feel like it shouldn't feel it should feel a, and again you know, so you feel a big distance. Yeah. Uh, and it's a it's a uh, well beautiful moment and the harmonies are unexpected and right so um that time and then when you do it again um sorry uh, again diminuendo on the g now again again crescendo Right, so that's also quite hard for the bow, isn't it? So, and we have to be able to hold the bow, right? <laughs> Without weight. Yeah. You see what I mean? Yes. So to be able to control the dynamic and the, the sound. Okay, um, good. Would you, would you uh, go from... How about once more? Uh... Okay.
Okay. Good. Very good. Excellent. Let's just talk about a couple a couple of things. Uh, I like that. I think this last time, when you, after 39, rehearsal 39, yeah. so... Uh, now the theme comes back, right? And this time he writes tranquilo, yeah. right? And, and it's... Basically, the dynamic is pianissimo, right? Before it was forte, and then it was, uh, you know, 38 was fortissimo and accents and appassionato. But now, tranquilo, I would do more soft, right? Um, very... Very inward, you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, and it's very, very inward feeling, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh, and and then, then you have a contrast with the other times you played it, which is always yeah. good. It's more interesting. Um, still, I, I, I don't want you to go away without me saying once more, you know, you think about it as you work on it, but when you get to the, uh, now, I think, I think more happens there, even though on the page it looks exactly the same, eighth note, eighth note, another eighth note, yeah. though, right? But, uh, I, I think you have to change something in the sound, the color, when you get to the, uh, the age, you know, this, it has to be, whoa, what's going to happen? And the other times before, right, to drop, start it a little less and stretch it yeah. a bit, a bit more going up. Largamente, uh, does any write it? Yeah, largamente, right? And then at the top, he writes tenuto. Um, right. And you have time. He writes retard, diminuendo, right? Uh, then again, but in a different key. Take time. Fermata, he writes now. It's so weird. So I think those, you know, pay pay attention to to these. Um, you know, look look at those tenuto fermata. You know, follow them and look at them as clues. You know, it, it, one has to do do something with with the music. Yeah. You know, it's you know you have to. Uh, no, I, I mean you know I know you know that. I what I mean to say is. Uh, especially with this movement, it doesn't feel very obvious. You know, one has to really think. Yeah. yeah. But you, I like your approach, and I, I can. You feel, you feel the music, and I, I can hear that, and that's that's great. Yeah. You want to play some of the the fourth movement? Yeah, sure. Uh, but should I play it all? Probably. Well, not. let's do not all. Yes. Since for time, how about? Um, How about till maybe um, well, let's try fifty three, and maybe we'll maybe we'll do more, but or uh, up until fifty four, fifty four.
Good. Excellent. Um, so, uh, Thomas, sometimes uh, just another small technical matter, but um, occasionally in your in your bow grip, you you tend to move a little bit uh, this way instead of you know our yeah. what we call pronation. I don't know if you call it like. I don't know what word you use for it, but a little like that. And um, I would say be careful. We, we don't want to, you know, it, it may come as you pull on a down bow and the, the grip, you know, sort of collapses in this way, you know, because you're, you're pulling. But maintain even when you're pulling, you want, uh, you want to maintain this, this turn in yeah. the bow. Right, because it, it, you get here, and then you lose flexibility. You no longer have the fingers at your disposal to help you. You know, if they're here, then you can you can you can do you can move around. You know, uh, yeah. in various ways, string crossings, spiccato, uh, the bow, helping the bow change. You know, things like that. So we don't want to lo lose the flexibility that you have there. One way to think about it is um, what happens sometimes, I think, is the first finger starts to break from these knuckles. So you go, you, you go down like that, and you, and you can get, a, you, you can get a, a sort of, this sort of thing. So what we have to do is this part, uh, the hand and this knuckle, should almost be, you know, it, it's a little bit of a generalization, but almost straight, you know, as a way to think about it, right? So we have like, we make a, it's more like a claw. So the, the bend occurs in this knuckle, right? Yeah. So you hold the bow uh, uh, this this way. So this is, can you see, a, a, am I, it's yeah. flat, the hand to the first, no, the first joint uh, of the finger. So you, so you have that, you have like a, it's like a claw, you know, <laughs> not a claw because it's flexible, right? But that is, we don't want, we don't want to go to that, you know, where, where this, the break is, is here, in the, right? So I think that's a good thing to remember, you know, to try to hold, yeah. hold the bow this way and have this, have this flexibility there. Is that, yeah. is that making sense? Yes. Yeah. But w would you show me once, just hold, hold a, hold a bow up and... Uh, yeah. Yes, exactly. Exactly. That's it. Yeah. You know, so just keep a keep an eye on that, you know, as you play. I think it's um let's see. Uh when you, when you do this stroke, I think you're you're uh you're using your whole arm. Uh and I think the elbow has to be engaged. Uh, right? You know, because it gets very hard uh, if we have to move the whole. Uh, we get we get very tight there, right? Uh, but uh, but uh, you know, sort of the way we, we detach you know, elbow. Can right? So the elbow has to to uh, bend a little bit. Can can you try just a little bit of that forty four? You know, you can play a little slower or softer, but just to make sure, get this motion where it works. Out. That's all right. Once more. There you go. You did it. Perfect. <laughs> well, maybe I was uh, a bit stressed out. <laughs> maybe. I think, yes. All kinds of things happen when we get stressed out. That's true. Yeah. Okay. All right. Um, so, we, we, on your first entrance, make sure the first bar isn't too slow, right? 
Moderato, right? Yeah. Um, you know, you know, not not fast, but the, just the first bar seemed a bit slower. Yeah. Uh, and um, uh, then I would uh, uh, a little something extra for the C. Or, that's important now. And then you make on the B big, big diminuendo. You you played you played soft, which and very lovely. But I think you can make the a beautiful diminuendo on the B. So now your piano. Do you see what I mean? Yes. So then you can connect, connect a little better. Um, and then uh, remember when you have a... The melody is actually in the orchestra, the piano. Yeah. They play... Uh, ba -ti -ta, ba -ti -ta, boom, right? So not too much of a... You know, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, I think it's good to hear, you know, to still be able to hear the... What you know, the integrity yeah. of the melody, right? Um, and then, small matter, but in the cadenza, you know, it's sixteenth. Uh, two sixteenths and then two eighths. Everybody, you, well, it's tendency to play. Uh, right. Uh, I mean, perhaps, you know, he wrote it. <laughs> okay, how about, um, how about 42? 42. Once more. Uh, is the beginning, yeah? Yes, yes, the, the beginning, right. <laughs> Once more, Thomas. I'm sorry. I'm sorry to stop you. Right now, I, I made you play too fast. That's that's a bit. I didn't mean quite that much, right? Just the, only the first part. Right. And uh, save your bow. Uh, save. You know, to make diminuendo, we need bow. You know, you think, oh, it's softer. I don't need any bow. You still, you know, so you really have to um, say. Right? Yeah. So, um, one more time. Yeah. Well, Okay, Tomas, uh, at the risk of being a pest, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But spread the eights a bit more. Now it sounds ti da da da, you know, ti ya da ti. I think that helps the expression if you more, more, uh, take a little more time on the eights, more expressive. Uh, last time. I won't stop you. So, Thomas, there's just one, uh, um, after you come back from, uh, right, I think you, you almost double time there, right? Um, uh, and then your tempo gets a little bit too fast, right? 
So, so ju just um, watch that. And after, uh, then, I think that's a place, hit that pow, you know, right on yeah. the head. That should be very forceful. Okay. How about, how about... Uh, So you got to find where on your cello the bow has to be, you know, real consonant uh, beginning, you know, like a trumpet. Yes. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mixed you up. Yeah, yeah, good. This was, but the C was good. Yeah, do once more. You know, when you start that, Thomas, um, remember, uh, first note is an accent. Uh, second note is this carrot. Yeah. You know, this, this thing on top of the G. Yeah. Probably that's stronger. Yum, ba -dee, yum, ba -dee, yum, ba -dee, yum. So don't be too strong on the first note. Yum, be, yum, ba -da 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 be, yum, da -da -da. You know, it's always that second B is a, a bit more than the first. Yeah. Um, should I try just from this place? Yeah, right there. 44 is good. Let's talk about this. Very, yeah. very good. 
Very good. Um, when you come in 47, uh, right, that's something very different, maybe more crescendo. Uh, you know, uh, make them wait. And then, you know, and then, you know, toss it, toss it off a little bit more. You know, don't don't worry too much about. Uh, you know, <laughs> we just want. You know what I mean? The 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 the, the, the gesture, and uh, the tempo tends to get just a little bit heavy. You know, so keep it. Keep it moving. You know, it's getting a little de da, de, a, a little bit too much. Yeah. Um, so, uh, yeah, once more for uh, maybe uh, forty-seven. Okay. Yeah. So I think you can, when you have a, the accent's good, but lighten the note that's not accented. So now we have a little, you know, they, they all feel like they're, right? Um, did you think at 47 perhaps down down bow oh. right there, to do that backwards and then up bow might might be a possibility you know you can you can try that if you want but you have to be careful. Uh, you're a little bit late in the fifth bar of 47. The yeah, I noticed the... that. Uh, yes, yes. I, I seem to um, not hear the piano. It's, uh -huh. it's bad from me. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but, uh, you, you know, I think maybe after the passage we go, uh, you know, <laughs> and the brain stops for a moment. You know, uh, two. Oh, sorry, two. Just keep, you know, <laughs> keep the counting going. Uh, and, and, you know, and you'll you'll hear the the piano. But um, and and when you get to forty nine, uh, sorry, then. Now we have forte, a little heavier. Ya di da 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 di da da da. Yeah. He writes, well, there's a sforzando somewhere there. Da di ya da di. But it's 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 not so elegant now. It's a little more forceful. And then yeah. uh, then he goes up to the high A flat, uh, right? So hold that fermata a little longer, I'd say. Da yeah. da ya. You know, yeah. virtuoso. Yeah. All right. How about uh, uh, last time forty-seven? Maybe stop at fifty, and we we probably should. Um, yeah. Okay. Call, call it the day. Um, no, 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 no. I'll try the down bow. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs>
good, good, very, very good. Uh, you know, when you go at 48 and uh, you have the accents, those are a little gentler, you know, than the heavier part before. I, um, a little more vibrato accent than a di da pa, with not too much di, di da ya, da, 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 you know, sort of a surge, but not a pa da pi, right? So I think you could yeah. be a little gent gentler with those. Okay, yeah. yeah. It's very good. I, I, I like how you, you're, you're playing this piece. So it's Thank new you. for you, but... Uh, Good. Well, I still have a lot of work to do, <laughs> but... Uh... Don't we all? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> okay, it's been great to hear you play. Probably we should stop, I think, I'm um, seeing the clock, and I assume yeah. we have to... Uh, so we take a short break, and then the next person may be. Well, thank you very much. Uh, it it's my pleasure. pleasure to be with you. <laughs> for me too. Thank you for playing. Hopefully we'll see you sometime uh, in the okay. future. Yeah, hope, hope we, we'll see you in Riga, hope one time. Yeah.